Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be unboxing and reviewing this Transformer Siege War for Cybertron Prowl. He is a deluxe class Autobot and here he is in his package. Very nice looking figure with some box art on the side. Here's the back of his package. And let's get this guy opened up. Okay, so here's Prowl out of the box. He comes with his little instruction booklet here. Two accessories. Um, this, the lights for his vehicle mode over here. And his weapon. Now, the instructions say you can combine the two like this to form um, an axe mode for his weapon, but um, I'm not it doesn't hold like an axe but in the instructions it shows him holding it just like a regular weapon here so let's just open it up yeah so it says acid pillage strike blaster axe mode not sure how this is really an axe but anyway it's there in the instructions i personally prefer to just leave it where it is in vehicle mode on his back and have his weapon just as normal hey okay, let's get some detail shots here you can see prowl has a very g1 like face very nice sculpt there is no light piping so um, the eyes are painted blue nice clear plastic for the back uh, of the vehicle or the lower leg which um, I, I really like it it's a bit different the wheels though um, you can see on the wheels it is this clear color um, I don't know I think I prefer it black but you know this is a Cybertronian version nice paint apps nice little touch to have the yellow over here and over here and here as well so I, I really like the them how they pay attention to detail here and then you see on the side the Cybertronian text. I think there's a, a Toy Hacks uh, kit that you can actually change this, or at least one coming out. You can see the Autobot logo on his leg, just like the G1 version, and then on his chest. Now, I thought they probably would put these ports over here, which it looked like it could fit, but um, it looks like, um, you know, it's deep enough that if some third party person or company made um, shoulder cannons, they could and just mount them on here. I don't know. Unless maybe I can find something 3D printed to uh, put there to give them more of a G1 like look. Nice detail on the torso. And there is, you know, the gaps here. It's very hollow. But, you know, I'm okay with that. It's kind of expected for this figure because of the transformation. Okay, let's go over our articulation. Now, the um, very first thing I noticed when I was trying to uh, mess around with the figure for articulation, the head is not turning. I don't know if it's just my copy, and it's kind of sad because it seems like lately um, there's defects with... Uh, the copies of the figures that i have you would think he would be able to turn but it is tight i don't know if it, you know it's hard for me to say if it if it's meant to be that way or if mine's accidentally got glued on because the head is not screwed in um and so i don't know if they glue the head together and maybe some just seep through and actually doesn't allow it to turn but I'm not going to risk turning it um, because it, it really feels like if I do, it's going to snap the head off. So I'm not sure um, it would seem it can, but for some reason, my copy seems to be defective. Like I, I, I'm, I'm afraid I've, I may have put in some wear on it. Like there's some articulation here, but man, turning it really feels like i'm gonna snap it off so i'm not gonna do that with the arm 
can go up on the shoulder like this, push the, the, the door back. And he, had, he is able to rotate 360 and then 360 on here. And then with the elbow, he does have a 90 degree bend and can rotate um, his fist 360. With the waist, he's able to rotate 360. Again, nice waist articulation with these figures. With the legs, he can do the splits. He can kick up all the way this high, pretty high. And kick back, oops, all the way, pretty far back. A little um, thigh rotation here. But it's good enough. Has a 90 degree bend, actually more than 90 degree bend at the knee. And that's mainly due to transformation. The foot can go up and down like this. But, um, and he still has that, uh, articulation left and right here so that he can have a wide stance all in all very nice i mean very predictable the transformation nothing groundbreaking or that different from prior prowls but you know it is prowl um so they're going for this the the, the traditional look so we're going to get a very predictable transformation Okay, to transform Prowl into vehicle mode, let's take out his gun first. First, let's uh, lift up this part of his body and bring it out uh, like that. And you can see this part is act was actually tucked in here. So when we pull it out, we're going to bring it up like there. And we're gonna fold this in. Tucks in nicely right there. Let's put the legs together and they tab in very nicely. But actually first, let's uh, fold this guy, the heels in first. And then flip the toes down. And then let's put the legs together. And they snap in very nicely. We're gonna rotate the waist. And we're going to basically tuck in everything like this. So it gets nice and neat. And then this gets all tucked in. And then let's close the doors and they tab into here. Very simple transformation. Nothing wrong with that. But um, like I said, it's a very simple and predictable transformation. Let's straighten out the arms. Yep, let's make sure everything gets locked in place here. There you go. And then the arms fold. No, oh, let's actually let's do that first and then fold the arms in and then bring it down. That's pretty much it. And then the gun can either go here like this or want to it can go like this and then the light will go on top and there's prowl in his vehicle mode okay let's get some detailed shots of him in vehicle mode all in all a very nice figure but like i said i'm not too much a fan of the clear wheels but I guess I kind of see what they're trying to achieve with that Let me get the back of the car okay let's do some size comparison shots of Prowl here he is next to um, Voyager Optimus Prime let's see if I can Zoom this out a bit. Raise it up. 
you can see um, Prime is much taller than him and here he is next to the next largest or the largest of the deluxes Ironhide so Ironhide actually towers over him uh, very well and here he is next to leader Ultra Magnus and get a little zoom out here let's put Ultra Magnus on the side and here he is next to uh, a Legends class uh, Dinobot I forgot her name but that's how tall he is compared to her so all in all um, he is not my favorite <laughs> in the bunch I, I like him as a figure because he's prowl I, I, I think he is actually one of the better prowls that we've got um, in the generations line the last generations prowl um, I, I didn't like the way it transformed too much it, it, it seems so fiddly this one seems a lot more solid even though you know it does have the the, the it's hollow over here um, I the issue with the head that I'm having um, that part um, seems to be more of a quality control issue I, I hope um, I gotta I've, I've not really looked at other reviews on him to see if others are having that same issue but if you are uh, please let me know I'm, I'm curious about it um, this it would have been actually nice if this was these pegs here um, I'm not sure if it's just not possible it seems like it could be possible to do that but um, it would have been better if it was a to me if there was a the five millimeter port over there you know I can't wait for him to get repainted into uh, well I hope he gets repainted into blue streak and smoke screen but we do know he's getting uh, repainted as um, barricade anyway that is it for this video thanks for watching